Hey, it is week three and me posting things I'm learning in order to try to remember them. I'm going to jump right in. been reading in the Old Testament, and this is in 1 Kings chapter 12. Rehoboam, who is the son of Solomon, just became king after Solomon died. The Israelites came to him and say, Your father put a heavy yoke on us, and but now lighten the harsh labor and the heavy yoke he put on us, and we will serve you. And then Rehoboam told them, Go away, come back in three days, and I'll give you an answer. Then King Rehoboam consulted the elders who had served his father and said, How would you advise me to answer these people? He asked, and they replied, If today you will be a servant to these people and serve them and give them a favorable answer, they will always be your servants. But Rehoboam rejected the advice the elders gave him and consulted the young men who grew up with him and were already serving him. What is your advice? How should I answer these people? And they said, Tell these people, my little finger is thicker than my father's waist. My father laid on you a heavy yoke. I will make it even heavier. My father scourged you with whips. I will scourge you with scorpions. And then three days later, the people of Israel came back to Jeroboam. And that's what he told them. And it was terrible advice. The whole nation split because of it. People rejected him. And here's, here's what I get out of that. I think a lot of times we are seeking advice and counsel from people who do not have the right answers for us. And this isn't to say that young people and uh, people younger than us can't have good wisdom and counsel because they absolutely can. Likewise, older people can have bad counsel and bad advice. My point is we would do better to learn from people who have walked the shoes and the path that we have walked in previously. If I want to learn how to be a better father and husband, I want to listen to people who have had a healthy marriage and raised kids that love the Lord before I'm probably going to listen to people who just have theories on things again. There's good wisdom even in younger people as well, and there can be. But I think seeking advice from people that have gone before us is a great thing. And too often, millennials in my generation, I feel like we're rejecting um, old ideas is what we think. And we think we know better, we know better, and, and I'm, I could do this all the time. But there's great advice in what we can see in the, the life of Ray of Bone when he rejected the word of the elders and just took the counsel from his younger friends. Let me also add that Rehoboam was 41 when this happened. So this wasn't like counsel of of teenagers. So this means the elders that he probably rejected, they were probably 60, 70, I don't know. They were probably significantly older than him and his friends were. 